And a wonderful treasure to arrive from a North Carolina estate, and it's the very rare Juliana. She was a princess in the Netherlands at the turn of the century. Gebruder Hoibach, also pronounced Hubach, made a doll, a character doll of her. And it was made in 1912 to 1915. She's very rare. They only made a few because by the time the war was over, she was no longer this little cherub child. She was older. Gabruda Hubach is very well known for their detailed sculpting. You know, they've sculpted the hair. You can see the different strands of hair. She's got intaglio eyes. Her eyes actually have an indentation in the middle. It just makes them look more realistic. And then a beautiful, childlike, small, pouty mouth. And if we look at the back, we'll see right here at her neck where she's marked. And it's a very clear mark, the Gebruder Hubach mark and her mold number. And she was made in Germany. And the head is made of bisque and her body is made of wood and composition. They've even molded in a really pretty blue bow in her hair. It's just a lot of detail in this doll, but she's extremely scarce, rarely shows up. Very few were made. I, I just can't believe she's here in North Carolina. You just never see her. I think I've maybe had one or two come through my doll shop over the years. A lot of times it's because the families do hang on to her. I mean, when they do come into the market, it's because the same family has had it since 1912. And I believe this family's had her the whole time since 1912. And I think they originated out of the Philadelphia area, a very affluent family. And she's got on her original little German boots and you can see they're numbered on the bottom. That's just a little size marker. And then she's got on her antique cotton one piece garment. This could be a factory made garment. Typically if a family made a garment for their doll, it was a little bit more elaborate than this and one. And she also has on this beautiful lace and cotton dress. I mean, all this eyelet lace is handmade. It's not made on a machine. It, someone literally did all the stitches and cut out little holes for the lace. Her auction date is February 19th, 2022. If you're a high-end doll collector, this is one you definitely want in your collection. She just is amazing. I've inspected her very carefully for hairlines and chips and for repaint. And I don't see any obvious of any. So I think she maybe went to the doll hospital more likely to be restrung. And that's a very common thing to happen to antique dolls because the stringing is actually, that's what's holding all this together. And of course the cord is newer than the doll, but that is okay because the original cord had a rubber core and rubber's a natural material and rubber will deteriorate over time. So it is certainly okay to have your antique doll restrung. That will never harm its value. And it'll help protect her over time because she's gonna stay together and, and not risk damage. Again, just super happy to find her here in North Carolina at Mevin Auction. Be sure to join us. Thanks y'all.